Friendship Factory and welcome to the 25 day Christmas craft challenge where we challenge you to make as many crafts as you can for your family and friends this holiday season. Today it's going to be cooking with Heather and we're going to make some peppermint bark puppy chow. I'm sure you've had the peanut butter and the chocolate kind mixed together. That's super good. Everyone loves it. But today we're going to make the peppermint bark kind because it's more Christmas feel to it. It tastes so delicious and it's a lot of fun to make. So let's get started. So you'll need a few things to cook this puppy chow. And what you'll need is a kitchen like this one. Um, also you'll need to be able to use the stove. So if you're younger, just ask your parents if you're allowed to use this because you can get burnt on the stove and we don't want that. So you need a stove. You will need a big mixing bowl, as big as you can get it because then it'll be less messy. You'll need a pan, so a saucepan to melt your chocolate in. You will need a mixing spoon and a spatula. You'll need a jar so that you can put some in it for a gift afterwards. You'll need a cookie sheet. I think any size is pretty good, but try to get like a bigger size. You will need a measuring cup. I use large measuring cups. You'll need some rice Chex mix and you can get this at your local grocery store. You'll need a Ziploc bag like this, the big kind. You'll need these white melting wafers by Ghirardelli. This is the best kind that I've found. It tastes super delicious. Um, this is the 12 ounce and this is how much you'll need to make your full thing of puppy chow. And then you'll need some crushed up candy canes. I used my uh, food processor and I crushed up about 15 candy canes. And this is what's gonna make it the peppermint bark. You can actually put this inside of a Ziploc bag and crush it up with your hands or any way that you wanna do it. But I think it's easier to use a food processor. So your first step is to get out your measuring cup and measure out six cups of this rice checks mix and you're going to put it into your large bowl. Now you're going to take your Ghirardelli melting wafers, make sure they are the white chocolate kind for this recipe. Unless you want to make chocolate, you can totally use chocolate chips. But these are the ones that melt the best and they coat your cereal really well. And you're going to put them into your measuring cup and make sure that it's two cups, which mine is two cups. And then you're going to turn on your stove and it'll be about at medium heat you don't want to burn your chocolate and you're just going to put it in here and you're going to let your white chocolate melt in there and it goes pretty quickly and you're just going to take your spatula and you're going to mix it around and make sure you don't walk away from it because you do not want this to burn next you're going to take your chocolate and you're going to pour it over your cereal make sure you do this part really quickly because the chocolate will harden fast we'll go back to its harder form and you're just going to mix that into your cereal Now that your cereal is all coated in the chocolate mixture, you can put it inside of the Ziploc bag and add your candy canes to it. And I also like to add powdered sugar for a little bit extra sugary taste, but you don't have to. That's why I didn't say it in the original ingredients. You don't have to add this. I just like to, so it's up to you. And then you're just going to put all your cereal in here and mix it all together. And you'll do it slowly so that it coats the whole entire cereal. Now you're just 
going to shake it up, shake it up, shake, 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 shake it up. <laughs> Just mix it around. Once you have the powdered sugar and the candy canes in there, just get crazy with it. This is the most fun part. And you can check it and see if it needs any more. I think mine's still kind of wet, so I want to put a little bit more on there. And definitely taste test this while you're doing this process because it's a lot of fun to be the cook and be able to taste it. <laughs> Now you're just going to lay all of your peppermint bark onto a cookie sheet so that it can dry. And I really love this stuff cold, so I'll probably put it in the fridge and then bring it out on Christmas Day and let everyone eat it for a snack before dinner. It's a great dessert. It's a great pre-snack before dinner while everyone's waiting. And it's just super delicious and yummy. It turned out really super good, and I hope you definitely try this. Mmm, I have no idea if this is going to last until Christmas. Mmm. I might just eat it all. Seriously? No, I'm kidding. I would not do that. Um, if you want to make this into a special gift for someone, all you have to do is get a mason jar, and you can put it inside the jar, and then you can attach some candy canes to it, Put some pretty ribbon on it. You could even spray paint the lid if you wanted to and decorate the jar. And then put a little tag on it and say Merry Christmas from me to you. And it'll be beautiful. This is super delicious and I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the craft we made today. If you love crafting as much as we do, make sure you check out all of our Choose Friendship products. And to enter to win the ultimate craft prize valued over $300, just follow this link below. We wish you a very happy holiday season and always choose friendship.